So I'm here once again with Jay King after the Boston Celtics defeat the Milwaukee Bucks 99-83. to uh, Fun game all around, and probably the funnest part was the third quarter when the Celtics went on a nice run. Jay, what did you see from the Celtics in the third quarter? Well, they went small again, which has been their best lineup since February when they acquired Isaiah Thomas. He wasn't out there this time. Uh, it started with Kelly Olenek curling into the paint, finding Jarebko for a three, and then from there it was just they dominated. It was they forced four turnovers over the next three minutes. Went on a 16-0 run. Evan Turner was great. R.J. Hunter hit a spot-up jumper off a neat little sideline out of balance play that they ran just to get him a jumper. Uh, I mean, it was just a really strong performance. The small ball lineups have been fantastic so far. The defense has been awesome. Through six games, Boston now up to number six in defensive rating. So, I mean, they're building a defensive powerhouse right now and just forcing turnovers, converting the other way. That third quarter was really, really powerful stuff. Uh, first quarter wasn't quite so good, but one guy who did play well in that first unit was Jared Sullinger. Yeah, I Sullinger's had an interesting couple of games here. You know, today, 11 points, 10 rebounds, not crazy numbers. But I think more importantly, it's good to see him moving well. Um, he's not... He's, he still doesn't look like he's in great shape, and I don't really know what his conditioning level is. But, you know, they talked about it on the broadcast quite a bit, how he's, you know, he's moving well. He, he seems to be energetic, um, and, and that's, that's really big for him because he's a very smart player. You know, they, again, something they talked about on the broadcast. You know, he's, he's a great passer. You know, he, he finds his way to the rim nicely to get rebounds, and that was all on, uh, on display today. Um, he's still knocking down some jumpers. I don't know how sustainable that is, but it's good to see while it's going on. And, and I think uh, the Celtics have to be pretty pleased with how he's been playing over the past you know week or so. Um, you, know, you know, as far as the uh, as, as far as far as the starters go, they like you said they haven't been good. Um, there's been a lot of problems. What do you think is going on? And, and is there kind of a solution? I mean, it seems like a lot of the lineups just aren't working. I don't know if there's a solution or at least an easy one. You know, they they. They switched up the entire front court. That didn't work. They've gone with Isaiah Thomas with Marcus Smart injured. That hasn't worked. It's like no matter who's in the starting lineup, it has not worked so far. They got off to an 18-6 start, eighteen six early deficit. Like just ugly basketball. Guys were like tripping all on the court. Just really, really ugly stretch there. And it's it's bothersome because it's a trend. And as good as the bench is, as good as the bench is going to be all season, they need to find some way to not get off to bad starts. And I don't know what that is. Maybe Marcus Smart returning will help it. But that's the next step for this Celtics team. Their bench is going to be great. They've gone back to small ball, which is really important for them. And next they need to find a five-man first unit that can avoid huge early deficits like the one they got off to against Milwaukee.